Okay, my name is Yuan, and I'm a principal engineer at Red Hat. I'm also a project lead for Kubeflow and Argo. I'm excited to be here with everyone today. Uh, so, so we kind of caught up in a world today right now where AI has like come out of research papers and in common parlance where everyone's talking about it. And uh, the need of the R is a space for a focused discussion around what really matters, what really doesn't. And as cloud native engineers, there's no better place than cloud native AI day today. We have a stellar lineup of talks, panel discussions, lightning talks. Um, where we're going to talk right from the research that's happening to what the end users are looking for to what um, uh, the project maintainers are up to. Uh, in a way, it's how cloud native and uh, AI can orchestrate the symphony for the future that you know awaits us. How it started, this started as a Kubernetes AI day in KubeCon Cloud Native Con EU 2021. And now we are here as Cloud Native AI Day. So the transition from Kubernetes AI Day to Cloud Native AI Day is the embodiment of how AI is not just relevant for Kubernetes right now, but the entire landscape of CNCF and Cloud Native in general. Uh, apart from Kubernetes, there are a lot of other projects that are heavily involved in supporting AI workloads, integrating AI. Uh, what it means to run uh, AI on cloud native infrastructure, uh, taking artificial intelligence, machine learning to the edge, so on and so forth. Uh, if you want to get involved, there's also the cloud native artificial intelligence working group, uh, which has been started in CNCF. Uh, we've been working on a white paper on what it means for cloud native for AI. Uh, what are the challenges? What needs to be done to support artificial intelligence workloads on AI, uh, on cloud native infrastructure? Uh, what it means to integrate artificial intelligence on cloud native infrastructure? And uh, what are the challenges that lie ahead of us? Uh, we're also working on an artificial intelligence landscape in the CNCF landscape. There are multiple other avenues uh, that are part of the deliverables of the working group. So if you want to get involved, this is a great space. Um, apart from this, there's also the batch working group in the Kubernetes ecosystem. So dynamic resource allocation was a big thing <laughs> last KubeCon plus CloudNativeCon. It may be a huge thing this time as well. Uh, these are the features that get discussed in these working groups. If you are looking for looking to get involved from uh, a Kubernetes perspective on supporting AI workloads, this is your way to go. Uh, there's also a CNCF end user research group, uh, which deals with what the end user needs are. Uh, they also have a project kiosk this time. So if you want to get involved, this is another space. Uh, while we have a great lineup of talks for a holistic experience of a conference, there's also going to be a hallway track where you can get to know all the people around here, the project maintainers, or who's working on what, try to get involved, uh, network with people, and take forward your experience that you're going to have today to how you can get involved even more uh, you know, going forward. Uh, if you want to use some topics to get started con to get to start conversations with these are some of the <laughs> topics that I've lined up over here the one thing that I wanted to highlight was how we should while we talk about cloud native and AI the one thing that we should talk about are the nuances in terms of do, when we say hey can LLMs upgrade Kubernetes control planes can they really can we rely on them things like that uh, what it means for a sustainable and a responsible future of artificial intelligence, uh, what it means for like say taking uh, AI inference at the edge, so on and so forth. Uh, what you call cloud native AI day, I call it a gathering of academia, project maintainers, open source contributors, uh, coming to one space to talk about topics that really matter to both cloud native and AI and uh, foster collaboration between these two domains. Uh, to get to know more about the logistics of today and what the lineup looks like, I have my co-chair over here, Yuan, who's going to walk you through it. Thank you. OK, I'll talk about the logistics of the event throughout the day. Um, 
So first and foremost, the golden rule uh, for code of conduct is to treat others as you would like to be treated. So be kind and be respectful to others when you interact with each other. And the CNCF also provided the code of conduct as well. So if you like to uh, check out the details of the code of conduct, please scan the QR code here. And I'll pause here for a moment for you to scan. Next, uh, we will be having live captioning and translations throughout the days uh, for all the talks. So if you have your mobile device, you can also scan the QR code here to access the live translation and captioning. So after you change the language um, uh, that you'd like to, the translation to be, the session ID will be automatically populated and the captioning will begin when the talk starts. There will be refreshments, snacks, and lunch uh, on this floor at uh, the south foyer uh, in front of the E and S rooms. I believe it will be in front of the, uh, this room and in the open area. And there will be additional lunch seatings on the first floor uh, if needed. And one thing you don't want to miss is there will be a reception tonight hosted by CNCF for the collocated events tonight. Uh, on the first floor at 5.30. And if you like to uh, talk about any uh, topics during lunch or breaks, feel free to uh, pick up the table topic signs that will be available in the back of the room uh, for you to get started with your conversations. Next, I'd like to talk about the schedule of the day. Um, so there will be 15 talks from 9.15 to 5 p.m. It's a all-day event, so when, uh, the topics ranging from batch AI ML workflow uh, pipelines to use cases for uh, batch workloads. So one thing to keep in mind is these uh, categories are, uh, are from the speaker proposals, so they are not 100% accurate. There, this will be the schedule for the morning, and keep in mind that this may change or uh, uh, so the most updated information will be available on Schedule D uh, website. And one thing to mention, uh, one thing worth mentioning is there will be a panel at, uh, at lunchtime, uh, at noon. So you definitely don't want to miss that one out. And, uh, and you'll have additional break uh, after that panel. Uh, so after the 12 o'clock panel, there will be, the next session is going to be at 1.30. So you'll have plenty of time for lunch and snack. Um, that's it, yeah. Uh, oh, actually, more logistics for speakers. So if you are one of the speakers, please prepare your mic. Um, so make sure you prepare your mic. Uh, see the AV team at the back of your room uh, and get ready to hop on stage and hook up, hook up your laptops as soon as the previous speaker finishes. And we'll have three amazing EMCs throughout the day. Rajas, uh, one of the co-chairs over there, and Madhav, and Amin. Uh, last but not least, enjoy the day. <laughs>